So today, uh, to this particular hour, some of the top stories we have been following up on, one of them being the strategic plan launch uh, by the Transparency International, launching the strategic plan for the year 2017 to 2022. Uh, we have been bringing you periodic updates on uh, the live event that was happening at the Sarova Pan Africa. But our reporter, George Maringa, has been there since the beginning. He now joins us live with an update. Thank you very much for joining us, George. What is the so what are some of the highlights of this particular strategic plan for the Transparency International? <laughs> Thank you very much, Akisa. As you said it, we are here at the Sarova pan Africa where a couple of minutes ago the launch of the strategic plan 2017-2022 was launched by Transparency International Kenya. And basically what this report will do is to guide these uh, Transparency International in their work in the, in the fight against corruption and the guidelines or the steps that they, they will take um, that, that, that includes civic education, public participation and also um, educating other members of the public and joining me now to give the, to give us just a brief of the of of basically what the report is about is mr samuel kime who is the executive director of tic kenya thank you very much sir for joining us what exactly is the difference between this launch that this strategic plan of 2017 2022 with the one that was there before well thank you very much for the opportunity the current strategy as one strategic pillar that is not completely absent in the previous strategy. It's a pillar that focuses on social and economic accountability. It is the pillar that issues of uh, revenue sharing, issues of uh, uh, you know, uh, financial accountability, as well as debt acquisition and retirement, public debt acquisition and retirement are going to be considered. It's a completely new area of intervention for us. Okay, and when, when we speak of corruption, people think of the major corruption that happens in the government and uh, probably now to the devolved government. But what exactly is corruption? Well, as Transparency International, we define corruption as the abuse of entrusted power for private gain. And this definition encompasses a lot of, uh, a lot of things, and it doesn't necessarily have to be in the, in the public sector as we define it. And the example that we like to give is uh, in our social interactions, we have you know, responsibilities that people are given at the social level, maybe to chair one committee or the other, perhaps it's a village well committee. If you abuse that power, if you use resources uh, uh, besides how the, the people who have given you that responsibility have, have, have stupid then you engage in corruption. So it can be big corruption or, or, or what we call petty corruption. But those, those uh, classifications can be misleading, but they are all as devastating. Because this little corruption, the bribes, for example, that we give 50 shillings, 200 shillings, destroy institutions. And this country has seen that in the last 10, 20 years. So the impact of it, even though the, the quantity might be small, in terms of the, the prevalence, it can actually bring down institutions that exist to benefit the public. And what does this strategic plan mean for, on, uh, on corruption moving forward? Well, we have assessed our contribution to the fight against corruption over the last uh, five years. We have learned the lessons and picked up uh, some of those lessons to inform going forward. Hence the new approach of engaging more on social and economic accountability issues. But what is going to define this uh, strategy even more is the engagement that we are going to have with the, with, with, with the, with the, uh, the public generally. Because we do believe that the public across this country recognizes the challenges that we face with corruption. They need support to be able to make their contribution. We have seen many examples where citizens have made a difference that needs to be scaled up so that the fortunes of the fight against corruption in this country are not just defined by the corruption cartels and the political and economic elites of this country. Thank you very much. That was Mr. Samuel Kimeu, who is the executive director of Transparency International Kenya, basically telling us what this, uh, this strategy that they have launched today means on corruption moving forward. And this comes just a month before, or rather the just before the world marks the International Day Against Corruption on the 9th of December. Akisa. Judge Marunga, a reporter there, joining us live from the Sarova Pan Africa, where the Transparency International has just, just launched their 2018 to 2022 strategic plan. Let's now get into sports.